locked in, you excited with Friday night? Yeah, yeah, it's been a sort of pretty long week waiting to see who we've got, but uh, yeah, got the Roosters and we know what they bring, so uh, yeah, we're getting our preparation. We've sort of been preparing the last week, but it's much easier when you know your opposition now, you can do a bit more video, so um, that's what today's session will be. A lot of video on them and sort of setting up a game plan and then we'll uh, yeah, come back on Thursday, Captain's Run. Did you catch any of uh, Teddy's game? He was pretty outstanding on that. Saturday. Yeah, he was good, wasn't he? he um, I think there's a bit of discussion around the kangaroo side at the moment, so I must be trying to stake a claim for that. But yeah, he's no stranger to finals. He's had some big games in final series. He's played Origin. He's played for his country, so he knows how to step up uh, in big games. And it's just what he done last week. So yeah, we're expecting something similar. Do you feel any pressure coming up against a fullback like him? Oh, not really. You should. We don't really come up against each other. We're sort of behind the defensive line, and um, I guess you can compare performances, but in terms of coming up against each other. We don't really have to, yeah, I guess, physically bash each other or anything like that. It's probably just more performance-based. So, um, no, you just, you know, he's been that guy who's been in the spotlight a few times and, um, yeah, you sort of hope to be in that position one day and you, set, you test yourself against them. And, um, like I said, you do that from comparing yourself to your performances and hopefully, um, yeah, I'll come out on top this weekend. Last what's the feeling like perhaps you given the year you've had, mate, now you're standing here in a verge of a prelim and a big one to come, maybe. Personally, how do you, how do you feel about sort of standing here now, given what's going on in the last couple of months? Yeah, I probably haven't given it too much thought, to be fair. I sort of feel really focused at the moment and um, in the moment, so uh, it's probably something I'll reflect on at the end of the year of sort of where we got to and um, what we've done based off the last couple of years. But right now, it's, yeah, it's a bit of a weird one, just really focused and, um, yeah, I want to do a job this week, so... Hard to think about, but I'm sure I'll be yeah, grateful that I'm in this position and um, yeah, try to take it with both hands. Yeah. Physically, sort of, yeah, so just on sorry, the physical yeah. side for you personally, you know, the ankle was an issue when we first sort of chatted in the pre-season, then a few bumps along the way, did you ever fear of not this year, not now? Oh, I think I've had my fair share now, right? <laughs> um, but no, life's not fair, right? You sometimes you just get dealt um, those cards and you've, you've got to deal with them. So. I feel like it's been a bit of my calling lately. It's probably been um, my purpose is to, to bounce back from those. And uh, for anyone watching, hopefully they can get some inspiration out of it as well. So yeah, I've had a rough couple of years, but um, I guess it's, everything happens for a reason. That's the way I've sort of looked at it. And hopefully now it's um, a clear path ahead. But yeah, like I said, life's not fair and you just got to deal with what's given to you sometimes. Just with those injuries, at the same time, can you feel, I guess, the support, the sort of the love that you have? Yeah, yeah, definitely. I think it's, um, yeah, you feel Generally, people want you to win and be successful after you've come at, um, come through those adversities. So, yeah, it's it's really nice to feel that support and um, even away fans are saying hope we win this year. It's um, it's pretty cool to hear. But yeah, now we get a got a job to do and um, that's where the focus is. Do you get any advice on any of that advice? Maybe to other guys who have dealt with injuries throughout this season. Uh, it's, I'm I'm a bit weird with that, right? Like I don't I feel like I want those people to live those experiences out and rather than tell them what to expect because I feel everyone's is a little bit different. So, um, yeah, if they come to me and ask for some advice, I'm happy to give it, but I'm, I'm quite aware of, they probably have lots of people in their ear about what the right thing to do is. And I know that you just learn from those lived experiences. And if they want to ask for advice, I'm here and I'm open to it and I'll, I'll make them aware of that. But they can, um, yeah, I guess they can sort of figure it out and work through it themselves and that'll make them stronger for that too. So you a better good. player? Are you a better player for those experiences? Oh, I think I'm probably a better teammate. Um, yeah, better player. I think physically you learn to look after your body a bit better. You're probably a bit more due diligent with what you do during the week and what you eat. That's probably um, physically why you probably become better. But um, I think mentally, yeah, you're, you're a better teammate. You're much more appreciative of the opportunities you get. And um, yeah, I think that's probably where I'm at now. So you talked about the future earlier. Did, did the results of this season and, and where this team goes, whether it's a grand final win or, or anything, does that have an effect on where you want to play in the next five to ten years? Oh, not really. Um, I think, yeah, sort of probably early in my career, you get caught up in the big result-based thing, but um, probably the last couple of years, it shifted to just that whole process-based and, um, yeah, really enjoying the weeks and the games leading up to, to the big ones. So, um, yeah, it's probably shifted away from being a massive goal, but rather the, the process of it and enjoying the process and um, being around teammates who can, who can reach to that level. So... I think that's where my mindset's at lately. Speed-wise, perhaps, are you as good as ever? Yeah, well, I haven't hit 100% of my top speed, which has been recorded at the Storm. I think that was recorded in 
2018 or 19, so <laughs> that was a while ago, but I've got pretty close to it. Um, hopefully I can get just a few more opportunities to test it out and see if I can get there. But um, no, I feel physically fine. Uh, I've put on a bit of weight this year, so um, yeah, whether that means I lose speed or get a bit more um, amongst the physical contest, I think that's probably the thing that I needed to improve anyway. So, yeah. And Thursday night, what do you do the night before a big one? Um, usually watch some sort of footy, but there's not really anything on this week. So, um, I don't know, probably play Candy Crush on the couch and <laughs> read a book and <laughs> have a tea. And yeah, that's really it. Pretty chilled out and try to keep game day and everything chilled. Or you've done all the work during the week. So, um, yeah, try, try to relax as much as possible. What was it like having belly ache on the body last week? Yeah, it was pretty good, wasn't he? He actually didn't know it was being filmed. So, got him a beauty there. He was, uh, Coming and sprayed us the next day for making him wear those sunnies. <laughs> um, but no, he was really good. Um, good for him to come on, and I think for him to share his story and be quite vulnerable with us was was really powerful um, from your coach to do that. So yeah, was, we're probably sitting there in awe. Didn't have too much to say, but um, he did most of the speaking, and it's a pretty impressive journey. So hopefully, he can add to it this year as well. What does he mean to this group? Yeah, he's oh, obviously we've seen how long he's been at the club for now. So um, you know how successful he's been and what he really drives and you know that you want everyone to buy into that so for us as players he means a lot because he's given us the opportunity to become first graders um, instilled us with a lot of traits that I think will make you successful in life in general and um, yeah it's probably forever in debt to him for that because he's um, they say this hard taskmaster but uh, it's going to get you far in life not just footy in life and um, yeah, he just reiterates that point and, Everyone buying into it creates a pretty special environment. Do you tap into Billy Slater's knowledge this week, or do you sort of park, park his experience? Um, like? Yeah, a little bit. Um, he's pretty good with that. He sort of take a backward seat, and if I need to approach him, he's open to that. And, um, chip his two cents in here and there too. So, um, yeah, I'd be silly not to access the information he's got. Um, but yeah, most this time of the year, it's actually probably more based around defence and making sure I'm making the right decisions and getting myself in the right picture because uh, finals games are won on defence and although the fullback position is known for a lot of attack, um, a lot of people forget where the one's setting the line and uh, making sure that those holes are filled up. So uh, I'm pretty sure that's where his priorities lie this week.